Look good. Good to go. All of your awesome. stuff is right here, minus that stuff that right. I gather, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. All right, guys, that cell was insane. Here's just a sneak peek at some of the things that we found. All right, guys, so back home, and um, let's go ahead and go over everything that we got today. All right, guys, so here is everything lined up, or about everything. Uh, I also have some stuff over here charging up some of the electronics I bought. But um, let's go ahead and start off with all of this stuff. And we're going to start off with the shoes. All right, so the first pair of shoes we have is this pair of Jordan 5 Alternate Grapes. They are in pretty good condition other than this part right here. Um, but other than that, that's really the only flaw. I can probably clean that. Uh, size 9 or 9.5. I think I paid like $40, $30, $20, somewhere around there for this pair. And I should get around 80 to 100 for these guys. Okay, so the next three pairs, I got all of these for $100 together, and um, this is a smaller size, like a four and a half or something, but I should get 40 to 60 for this one. I should get around 100 to 130 for these, size nine, I believe, and then for this pair, I should get around 90 to 100, maybe 80 to 100. Uh, this one does have a flaw right here. It is coming off a bit, but uh, nothing I cannot fix with some super glue. But yeah, pretty good condition other than that. Size 9.5 or 10. Altogether, those three pairs I should make around like nearly 300. So, not bad. One of the better pairs I found today um, is this Jordan 1 Pine Green. I did pay up for this one. I paid 80 bucks. But I should be able to get like 150 to 200 for this shoe. If not, I might end up keeping this one. Not too sure yet. But um, really, really, really good condition. Looks like it's practically dead stock. Size 9.5, I believe. And then the next pair we have got are this Jordan 4 What The. Uh, this is a size 6.5. Really, really clean. I believe I only paid 30-ish dollars for this guy. Um, should make about a hundred bucks for him. Not bad at all. The cheapest shoe I found today, this pair of Jordan for pure monies. This is a size 10 and a half, super, super dirty, but I got a really good deal for this pair of shoes. I got these guys right here for $10. You really can't beat $10 for pure monies. Um, if y'all don't know, this is like a hundred to $200 shoe in this in this kind of condition um well maybe not in this exact condition um but all this dirt and stuff should come off really easily just with the quick wipe but after i clean the, those guys i might end up keeping them next pair we have um is this pair of nike air force valentines i really really love this shoe i love how it has all these like hearts everywhere and it's just very detailed they are pretty dirty, as y'all can see, but um, I should be able to, to scrub all that gunk out. But uh, after I give these guys a good clean, I should be able to get $100 out of these. And I believe I paid 20, yeah, I paid $20 for this pair. And um, I might even keep this one for a little bit and then sell them. All right, next pair we got is this uh, Jordan 1 Low. I believe it's like a something green, like Easter green, light green, some junk like that. But they are very clean, as y'all can see. They look like they're basically just tried on. I believe these are a size nine and a half. Should make a hundred bucks off of this guy. And I only paid $50, I believe. 40 or $50 for this guy. It was really cheap. And then we also have this other pair of Air Forces that I found. This one's really, really cool. Pay 20 bucks after a clean. I should get around 80 to 100 for them. All right, down to the last two shoes. Here we have the Jordan 1 Bloodline. If y'all don't know, this is a pretty pricey shoe, even in a smaller size. This is a size six and a half. The only flaw I saw is that right here, it has a stain, but I should be able to get that out. Um, other than that, these are really clean. Um, yeah, size six and a half paid, I believe. I don't even know. I don't remember why I paid for these. 
I think it was like, it was 40. It was $40 I paid for these. And I should make like nearly $200 for these, believe it or not. Last shoe that I purchased from this lady was this pair of Yeezy slides. But uh, uh, yeah, that's basically all of the shoes that we got today. I also got this basketball from uh, the same sale. This basketball is worth about like $15 in this condition. Um, it's a marble series, so I don't know. There's not too much to say about it. It just looks really cool. I'm probably gonna end up keeping it. Only paid like a buck or two for it. And then, and then some of my other really great finds today were these phones. Uh, the lady only wanted a buck a piece for these phones. I charged them all up and uh, the majority of them do uh, turn on. Uh, these two, I don't think they turn on. No, they do not. But yeah, we got an iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 6 or 7, iPhone 7, I believe. Turns on too. Uh, most of these are locked though, unfortunately. I think this one might be inappropriate. It's not. Um, iPhone 7 turns on, but it is locked. This one's inappropriate, guys. I can't show you all the photo. But um, iPhone 8, really good condition. Shh, yeah. Um, then we got these two phones. iPhone 8 cracked and iPhone 7. I'm trying to see if these turn on. That one probably died. And then this one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one is questionable. But um, I should probably be able to get around $20 a piece for these guys. This one actually does turn on, but as y'all can see, but um, I don't know. It doesn't show anything, I guess, other than that right there, which really sucks. But I'm thinking I should be able to get like 20 bucks a piece for these phones, which isn't too bad. Also got a Samsung for a dollar. I don't know if it works. I haven't charged it up yet. But yeah, uh, those are all locked basically. And these two, I believe are uh, disabled. And then this one has a password. It's dead too. Um, but for the iPads, for these two iPads, I paid $5 a piece, which isn't horrible, I guess. But um, yeah, I should maybe get like 25, 30 a piece for these guys too. So just off the phones, I should be able to make about like nearly $200 just off of all of this. Um, I could be wrong because I haven't seen the prices of uh, iPhone parts in a long time. So I will put uh, comps up right here of, from eBay. Uh, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. I'm probably about right though. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about these guys. And then I also did go to a garage sale before we went to this sale. Uh, here we have some Star Wars pepper shakers. These guys are actually really good. These are worth like $20. And then we have this Star Wars Pez. This guy right here is worth about like $10. It's nothing too crazy. And then we have this, uh, like baby thermometer. Brand new. These go for like 30 to 60. I'll probably just try to get rid of this for like 10 bucks. And then we have this notebook, notepad thing. I'll just give that to my father. We got this watch, it's worth like 10, probably not even worth selling. We got this uh, Cars PlayStation 2 game, not worth a bunch. We've got this calculator worth 10, not a bunch. We've got this Star Wars Rebel uh, movie, I got that for myself. We got this Star Wars, <laughs> we've got this Star Wars Lego book. It comes with a little Lego character, that's the only reason I got it, not worth a bunch. Gatorade bottle, worth like five bucks. SpongeBob hand sanitizer, as well as a portable charger. Got those for myself. And uh, yeah, that's really it from the cell. Or actually, no. <laughs> we also have Master Chief, which is worth like over 100 bucks. But we're going to get there. Um, but just for this stuff, along with Master Chief, I only paid $10, which is a heck of a deal. Um, oh, yeah, including those three things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you all the Master Chief fully opened and uh get into further detail with this All right, guys so here is the master chief mountain dew promo cutout it's really really cool um two of these guys have actually sold in the past on ebay one was for 150 the other was one for like 157 so uh not much of a difference but um uh, those were like a long time ago though one was in 2018 the other was in 2007 
So this guy's probably worth much more now. Um, I did see one that was a Walmart instead of Mountain Dew one posted for $500 and has a bunch of watchers. So um, this guy does have a rip right there, but he's in really great condition other than that. Or not great, but like, you know, there's some minor flaws here and there. But um, I should probably get at least 200 for him. Maybe two to 500 is what I'm expecting to get for this guy. And I got him for like 10 bucks plus all this other stuff, uh, which is really good. So yeah. I also forgot to mention that I found a huge stack of clothes um, at the sale as well. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what I got. First piece we got is this Nike men's hoodie. Um, this guy should be worth like 20-ish dollars. And um, that's basically what I spent for all these clothes. I spent uh, $24 for everything here, plus the charger. And then in total for everything I bought from the cell was 400. But uh, yeah, this guy's worth like 20 bucks. So not bad at all. Next, we got this uh, Polo Ralph Lauren sweater or knit sweater. Uh, this guy is probably worth like 20, 30 bucks. I, Yeah, that's basically what I've been seeing it go for. But uh, yeah, uh, not too much to say about it. It's very nice. If it was my size, I'd keep it myself. But, uh, yeah, let's see what else I got. Next, we have this uh, cookies set of clothes. Um, I should be able to sell these together for 40 bucks. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Next, we have two pairs of pants. The brands on these are True Religion. One of these are a little older because um, they're made in USA. So, anytime you see that, they are most likely a little more vintage. But uh, yeah, um, this guy should give me like 20 bucks. And then this one should make me 20 as well. But this one is a little newer. But yeah, um, that's really it for the pants. We also have another Ralph Lauren v-neck. Not another Ralph Lauren v-neck, but just another Ralph Lauren. That guy should give me like 10 bucks. And then we also have two more um, True Religions. One in blue, one in red. I should get like 15 to 20 a piece on those guys. And uh, the rest of the clothes I have right there are pretty good. So uh, let me show you. All right, guys. And um, here we have three Burberries. Burberry Brit is what they're called. I don't know if that's Burberry Burberry, like the designer or what. But uh, yeah, we have three Burberry Brits. Here is one of them. It's just a basic blue. And then we have this orange and blue kind of cool and then of course you have the classic colorway for burberry everybody's iconic kind of colorway so uh when i search this guy up this one goes for like 100 bucks and then those two go for around like 30 to 100 a piece so not bad next we got these two pairs of nike shorts honestly i'm kind of suspicious about these because of these really weird nike tags as y'all can see Nike doesn't usually do it like that, so I'm kind of unsure about authenticity on those two pairs. But if they are legit, I can do like 20 a piece. Here is a really good one. We have a Gucci shirt right here. Um, this one looks legit to me, but um, I'm going to have to like do like further research on it. But like right off the bat, everything looks good to me, but I am not a professional on Gucci. But uh, yeah, look at that, guys. That looks really good to me. And like, it feels like high quality and everything else like that. But uh, yeah, if this is legit, it's like a $100 shirt. So not bad at all. Also got this pair of Nike shorts. Should get like 20 for those. And then this pair of Nike shorts. I mean, champion shorts, my bad. Um, this one I should get like 10 to 15 out of. But uh, yeah, not bad at all. And then uh, we have like one more shirt. Okay, guys, so I'm cutting the video short because I did lose the last clip of the clothes. But um, yeah, that's about it for that video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe if you are not. Um, I literally recorded this like literally last year. So uh, that's why I lost the clip. I don't know where it is. But um, in the current present that we're in right now, we hit a thousand subscribers, guys. So like I promised, we're going to have a giveaway. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to give away just yet. I have a ton of things I could do. But um, just comment down below what I should give away to you guys. I have vintage clothing, sneakers, video games, Pokemon, all that stuff. But um, 
I think that's all I really had to say for now. Stay tuned because I'm going to be posting a bunch of YouTube videos because I have a lot of videos that I've just been holding on to and I'm barely getting to them. But that's all I have to say for now. So hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace out.